The CalFresh program, also known as SNAP or food stamps across the United States, provides monthly funds through a benefit card, similar to a debit card, to individuals and households of low-income backgrounds. This federal program aims to reduce food insecurity across the nation and tries to lift people out of poverty by making sure that everyone, young and old, have the ability to put balanced meals on the table. Since March 2020, emergency allotments have been provided to all eligible CalFresh households on a monthly basis. But like many other COVID-era benefits, these extra funds have now come to an end. Early this year, it was announced that the final extra COVID allotment would be issued this past March. The UC Berkeley student, um, we're in a really rigorous environment where I'm really busy all the time. And um, when I used to have my um, like the COVID allotments with my EBT, I was able to afford like getting wraps and to-go items and like not stressing about like how much uh, I have to spend on eating food. Um, which was really helpful whenever I was doing all my other schoolwork and stuff. But now that they're kind of taking away that COVID like allotment, I have to kind of stress more about like how much I'm spending when I go out, like when I buy food, um, how like I have to buy more like raw ingredients and produce and spend more time cooking instead of buying things that might be prepared. So um, it's kind of causing a bit more stress in like my life at Berkeley here. When I first found out about uh, the COVID allotments being stopped, I didn't really think too much of it you know I didn't worry too much because I was still gonna have my original funds added but um, given that I did have to start from zero because of my experience over winter break um, it did kind of get me to start thinking about it a bit more because I noticed that um, with my just my original funds like I had enough but it was just like enough to cover me for the month. Like now I actually have to like worry a bit much, a bit more about like, oh, how much is this? How much is that? So I have to be careful with what I buy. According to the 2022 UC Undergraduate Experience Survey, 43% of students reported experiencing some sort of food insecurity. Jay Novin, the executive director of the Berkeley Student Food Collective, shared why college students, especially first-generation or low-income students, may be particularly vulnerable to food insecurity. The removal of the pandemic benefits from EBT are going to have tremendous rippling effects for students at UC Berkeley, and that goes beyond simply being able to excel and succeed in their academic trajectory, but it's also going to have long-standing impacts on their extracurricular activity, the other jobs that they're working in order to maintain their economic stability, but also we know well that Food security is highly correlated with mental health outcomes and even the embodied physical um, repercussions that come from not being able to survive. These are issues that lead to all different types of um, physical um, disorders and maladies that will affect students potentially long after their time at Berkeley and well beyond the impact of getting a specific grade in a specific class. While the epidemic of college hunger can be seen as a blemish to the state's world-class higher education system, California has taken a leading role in acknowledging and combating this issue. This effort is primarily driven by students who have formed a powerful movement. As a result of their advocacy, basic needs centers have been set up in numerous state colleges, offering food pantries and meal sharing programs, making strides towards enhancing access to programs such as CalFresh. Additionally, local student-run stores such as the Berkeley Student Food Collective are providing fresh, local, and healthy food at affordable prices to students. Yeah, anytime I haven't had my EBT card, I've been able to get food at the food pantry here at Berkeley. Um, and that's been really helpful. They'll have like prepared foods as well as like canned goods and produce. And the produce comes from Berkeley Student Farms, which I also volunteer at. And I always get produce from there. Like anytime I've been volunteering at the end, I'm able to like harvest kale or harvest something and like take it home with me and cook like really fresh produce. So yeah, there's definitely resources on campus. Like if I don't have my EBT card, even though it does stress me out, I'm really glad that I have other places that I can still get food um, from the campus. For more information on how to apply to CalFresh and connect with these various campus resources, visit basicneeds.berkeley.edu or visit foodcollective.org. <laughs> Reporting for CalTV, I'm Haley Chubb.